Welcome to the session, greeting of the day. Mainly we have seen about the casting solidification process and we know about the, the initial method of sand casting process. Sand casting process mainly uses the sand mold box. Instead of that we are going to use the metal boxes and other methodologies of ideas we are going to include there. Those various types we are going to see in this types of other casting processes. On the first I have taken the die casting process. First I have taken about the die casting process. Why we want to go here? The main drawback of sand molding process are we use a sand. It takes more time to build the box then on the build box the cavity is created, then we are pouring and it is one time usable, we know this, we have studied. So it takes a large number of time and consumes only one product at a time. Therefore, we are moving towards the other method of die casting process. Here instead of the sand, we are using the metal as the product. A mold need to be prepared, so this is the sand mold, a mold need to be prepared for each prepared for each of the casting produced so 10 products we have to prepare 10 sand molding process and each molding time takes minimum of 45 minutes 30 minutes don't know but in die casting process a fixed metal pattern box is ready we are fixing we are pouring the dry metal is pressed and this product is ready and we remove a cleaning process then we can use again. So what happens the same metal box can be utilized thousand times, two thousand times, more times we can use. So that is what we have given. And also time reduction takes place. Then the employee, number of employees there is no need as it is become automatic. So those concerns are there. And also you see in sand molding process the texture of the product we have taken here a product is ready an outside box is there and here in the sand texture the grains here some small grains are there it means the sand mold casting contains the texture the word you know that so that texture will fall on the product also it's not a smooth surface therefore it falls on the product also there's a chance it changes the not the smooth surfaces we are not getting that is also one of the point. So those things we consider and we move to the next category of die casting process. A metallic molding, here you see, here it is a sand molding. Here we are using the metallic mold is used in the place of, used in the place of this one. I am taking up, used in the place of sand mold. So instead of this, we are using now the metal with which large number of casting are made how much maybe a thousand two thousand any number of n, n number of casting can be made on a single box the metallic molds is known as die so here i am naming those metallic mold instead of sand mold we are made with the metallic mold we are name i am naming this as a die right now so mold metal what we are using here we are not using sand right we are not using sand and we are using the metal or any alloy system to make a stronger metal than that of the cast metal so that uh, we are, for instead of using a aluminum aluminum casting process we use steel higher than melting point of aluminum we should because we are pouring aluminum the casting die should be should not melt in such a way, high melting point than that of the casting use, we are using as a dye product. Maybe a metal, whatever it is, that is alloy system to improve the, maintain the heat, heating conditions. Such metals we are using. So types of die casting process here. In, in this die casting process, we know we are using the metal. How? There are two categories are there. I am dividing into two categories. Number one, I am dividing as a gravity die casting process. It is also otherwise known as permanent molding, right? Everyone is 
But I'm making is a gravity die casting as a permanent molding process. We, we will know. And then second one, the pressure die casting process. The name itself says the difference here. It says gravity die casting. It says the pressure die casting. The difference we understand here. It works on the principle of when we are pouring inside. When we are pouring inside. When we are pouring inside the cast metal due to gravity process. It comes down and fills. But here in the pressure die casting process, what we are doing here, the same metal is used. It is poured, but it is injected inside. Then what is the advantage then the same that any minute holes we should inject. It reaches that minute hole also in the pressure die casting. But in the gravity, simply it is flow takes place. The micro the active designs cannot be made in the gravity die casting process. We will see one by one. The gravity die casting a permanent molding process. When it is developed, the first permanent mold casting were made using the stone molds. We are talking about sand, we are talking of metals and alloys. Initially, the mold was prepared by stone molds around 2000 BC. It started earlier itself. And then it developed, and then initially they started with making up low material melting points. Then again, later they are going for alloy systems and making the high melting points. First, they started with the zinc, lead, tins, which are having the low melting points. Then they are going for the copper, steels, titanium. So, those were those having the high melting points. The advancement takes place from 2000 BC onwards. Now, we come to the number one of gravity die casting process. Here, where this is the setup, what we have, you see, what we have, you see here, there, is, there are two dies are there. There are two dies we are using here. This is the metal die. This is the metal die one, right? And this is the metal die two. Here, one is fixed here. One is fixed, right? And one more is movable using through the piston arrangements. Using through the cylinder piston arrangements, it is moving. I have this design. I have the design in between this two. You see, this is the design. So this is the design. Any any design, as per your, as per our need, as per our interest, what product we are making, the interest may be according to that we are design making but here this is as per this diagram this is the design and for every product change here we have to pour we have here we have to here we have to pour the motor material in such a way what happens it, due to gravity it comes down and fills this cavity and when it is solidified, it may be equioxide, may be columnar, may be dented, it will become a product. Dented, I told you, it should not be there. We need equioxide grains. That is apart. So, this is spray nozzle is used for every time for cleaning of this impurities. Of cleaning of these impurities or wastage particles which are pasted in the every cyclic changes, we are using this cleaning nozzles. Okay? So, this is the setup. Spray nozzle. Stationary mode, I have given there, it is given here. Fix it. Stationary mode, mode section, movable mode section, hydraulic cylinder open and close. Hydraulic cylinder open and close. When you are pressing, the pressure is applied over the mode box. Therefore, it is called as permanent molding. We are fixed one end. One end it is fixed. And then we are giving pressure and then we are doing. What, what achievement we are doing here? We can able to avoid any defects. The pressure, evolution of gases, shrinkage cavities, those things we are, we are pressing the molten metal to compact well. It is compacted well, there is no evolution of gases. If it is compacted well, there is no cavity in between. Shrinkage may not happen. Those sections we are avoiding. In this die casting process, we have seen in the solidification, the defects, shrinkage defects, hot earrings, right? And these things we have seen. So those things are we are all avoiding here. Hot tearing, shrinkage defects are avoiding here. So other next 
After pressing, what happens? We are here, here we are given the force. It comes nearer. Here the fixed end, we know this. Here is the fixed end, we know. And it comes nearer. Now I am pouring. Now I am pouring here in between. In between, I am pouring the molten metal, which is in the red hot condition. And comes down and fills the cavity. Simple cavity, not the high, high designed cavity. Not possible. Because gravity comes down, that's it. If I am having a thin hole here, what happens? It won't be filled. It won't be filled because we are not using pressure here. I am having a thin hole here. I am having a thin hole here. What happens? It won't be filled. It should be injected. But that's not happening here. It goes downward. So accordingly, for simple designs we can use. In case I want a core, a hole in between, what I am using? I am using a core. This we have studied. A core. This core is utilized to make what is the purpose of core? The purpose of core is to make the cavity in between. So I, I kept the core here in between the two mold boxes. It comes down, it fits around the core. Then when the object is removed, we get the product in the whole form. You see, this product you take and see, this product you take and see, at the middle there will be hole. According to the thickness the product will be. But at center I have kept the core, so the product will be comes with the hold object. So likewise, if wherever the design needed, we can give. The core is used inst instructor to mold close. It, it, it able to close later. After keeping it, you should close. So likewise, we can able to make. So this is what some simple image for understanding how we are die gravity die casting process. We are simply pouring through our hands. Maybe automatic also machines can be do pouring and gravity it should comes down and fills. Right? Here I want to play a small video here. You see a gravity die casting process in this how they are doing they have kept the core inside first in this image the two dies are here the two dies are here and they are keeping the core in between and out of the core the mortar metal which you are pouring it should fill that is the idea here the two one is fixed and one is movable they have kept now and they are come this is fixed right and they are coming nearer and the cavity is there the pouring region is here the pouring region is here now they want to pour the hot liquidized mortar metal which is higher than that of the melting temperature if it is exactly melting temperature, the fluidity will not be there. We need fluidity to flow. Therefore, for, for, instead of 1500, we heat up to 1700. And then we want to pour it here in this region. See there? They are pouring there. And it will become completed solidifying process. Right? Then likewise, we can able to do this phenomenon. See? That Molding has been solidified. After solidification, we have to remove the box or die and we can able to take out the product outside. A simple, simple object using gray gravity die casting process. The product is ready now. Here the complicated designs we are not making, injection we are not doing. There we need pressure die casting. So this is the product we can able to make. So such products are possible. Permanent mold casting and aluminium piston here we have made. For example, this type of design through gravity die casting, some aluminium pistons are made. So this is the riser. See, this part is the this part is the riser. So where the flowing occurs. So such cases we can do. Some other examples I am giving. Some engine parts are made up of gravity die casting for some examples. So some example of die casting process. So what are the advantages we are taking here? Why we move from sand casting to the die casting process? It contains better mechanical property. It contains better mechanical property. What is better mechanical property? We are pressing. We are pressing the mold box. Therefore, the shrinkages we are avoiding. 
gas we are avoiding so these cases are compressed therefore there is no chance of cavities so porosities that there are we are avoiding so in case this defects are avoided obviously mechanical properties are not disturbed we will get the good properties homogeneous grain structure and chemical compositions so there is a chance of rapid cooling process right there is a chance of heterogeneous homogeneous treatments so we get uniform structure the uniform structure you will get by this pressure die casting gravity die casting process so lower shrinkage that is what i have given here also the lower shrinkage and gas porosities so that is what i have given this uh, this two points interrelated good surface finish what is this good surface finish we have we have discussed in the first slide so when the sand mold is there the sand grains the sand particles even though it is a solid box when it is metal is poured inside when it is solidifying the sand grains texture will fall on the product the good surface finish we won't get in case of metal die casting the texture is very smooth and obviously the product also will be smooth so this case is good surface finish low dimensional tolerance there is no some deviations or will may not be there exact we need 5 mm kit we need 10 mm kit exact product will receive always there will be in sand molding process we have to remove the pins we have to we have to hit the sand risers open feed us skidding so this case is may chance of enlarging of the sand the cases are not happening here okay it is fixed dimension whatever we are pouring it comes out right obviously we are giving allowances there in out of those allowances expansion may will not happen in the die casting but other things are in the sand mold casting it happens so limitations what are they costly as as because we are coming from sand to mold it is costly but nowadays we, it is very simple we are using everywhere because the sand mold casting having consumes more time it's of making one kit i am taking 10 products here i am making hundreds of thousand products there in the same time of sand mold product taking one product here i am taking 100 products so i am using this so this is negligible this cost is negligible only for components of simple shapes so see as i told you complicated designs we should, we should in, in check we need pressure to reach all the corners so that is not possible here which one if i am having the product here if i am having a hole or slot the gravity die casting goes down it goes here and will not go to the micro cavities not possible okay so that is some of the disadvantages here so this one is completed now now i am coming to the second pressure die casting process cold chamber pressure die casting hot chamber pressure die casting the name says this is the difference the name says hot and cold and we see now we see pressure die casting process the history the pressure die casting process is believed to have begun in sometimes during the middle of the 19th century where it is we are now at the 20th century it is in the 9th century it is a 100 years old invention it is only one and only 100 years old invention but there sand molding castle it is given as bc is now it is given as 19th century it is a new trend 100 years old it will be right so this is the cold chamber die casting the cold chamber die casting process very simple here also we have a fixed and movable die here also similarly we have a ram, ram component right but here what we are doing there it is operated through the gravity here we have the kit here i am drawing here you see here we have poured here before that here we have poured here we have poured and it comes down and by the gravity it fills that's it but here we are injecting it is pressurized inside we are using the ram pistons we are pressurizing this liquid material comes inside and it fills here and there it goes here it goes here and it due to the pressure it, it want to reach somewhere it reaches this design it reaches this design it reaches this pin point this reaches this micro slot everywhere and the final after filling i have an ejector pin through which if it comes out i identify that 
the entire cavity has been filled. If, if it is filled, I no need to pour here again and again. And always I want to pour. We know the volume, how much it fills. That volume we are going to pour, but the ejector pin it is used for identification that the cavity has been filled. That's it. Okay. So very simple. Instead of gravity, I am using the injector or pressure there. But this has been taken from the furnace. This furnace is separate. Furnace is separate here. Here there is no setup of furnace. The furnace from there we have to take. In the meanwhile, what happens? Let us consider the furnace. Our machine setup of pressure die casting is here. Cold. Cold pressure. Casting is here. Here we have the pressurizing box. And out of that 1 meter of 2 meter distance, out of the 2 meter distance, we have the furnace here. We have the furnace here. So what happens there? If the furnace, we have to take from here to here. So furnace to here to here we have to take. It consumes more time. Then in the meanwhile of time, the temperature reduces. Temperature reduces. In case you hear it is 1700, when it is comes here, to the pouring condition, its temperature may be 1600. So, the fluidity reduces. Fluidity reduced. Therefore, this fluidity may not be chances of reaching the all the corner points when it is injected. We need more fluidity to reach the simple design. So, what we are doing? So, I am going for the next step, hot sample die casting. Okay, let me see. So, this is some of the simple examples. Simple examples, see? Say this region. Say this region, okay? So, this region, you see, they are pouring and it comes inside and in this part, the cavity is visible. Here it is fills and it, it, it cools down and comes down. You see now? See? Now it is moving. See there? See this point. Now it is filled. Yellow color. And then now it is come inside to fill the cavity. And then it pressurized. The ran pressurized and it is drying now. From the yellow color to black color it changes. And then it is removed. And then it will come down. So likewise it will, it will happen. So I am repeating. See slowly. Right. See there it comes down. It fills the piston inside the cavity. Then it dries. Solid will come and it, the two pistons are moving and comes down. So this is how it happens. So here also I want to play a small video clip here. See, this is belongs to a permanent cold chamber die casting where the material taken separately from the furnace and they are pouring into the cavity. So here this is the furnace. You see this region. They have a jar and then they are taking a molten material and it should come here and then we should pour inside the box to solidify it. See there? Now this is the piston containing which is having the pressuring process. From there up from the top they are making this spraying action for each cycle they want to clean the die casting. Clean the die. That process has been done. So metal is went inside and it is pouring. You can see. Here we have it is pouring here. See? Those it happened. The pouring completed and now the piston moves inside. And now the piston moves inside and it is completed. The, the piston comes out. After clearing, the piston comes out. Again, similarly, we have to take from the furnaces. So what are the advantages here? Simple construction, this cost of the equipment is not very high. It's not very high. So that, uh, that we can able to understand. Disadvantage is slow cycle process. Because why, why it is slower? Why it is a slower cycling process? Because we should take molten metal from the furnace and come and pour. Now this disadvantage we are using to make us a hot chamber. The furnace itself kept inside the inside bottom of the machine setup due to this need of need to need of transfer transfer of the molten metal from the furnace. This is important from the furnace. This takes time. Okay, though that we we rectify now. So what are the alloy system we are using? We are using aluminium alloys, zinc alloys, magnesium alloys, copper alloys, any alloy system 
we can able to do in the cold chamber dichargeing process as well as as well as hot chamber also no so these are some of the parts we are using for making the through cold chamber what are the automatic components we are using electrical motor frames we are using complex shapes with the what is this complex shapes because we are pressurizing as we are pressurizing it makes pressing action therefore thin regions can be produced it can reach, it can reach each and every corner it can reach therefore okay thin walls so various circuits we can able to make here now it is a hot chamber die casting problem we have to do you see here we have two cases the ghost like air injection type submerged plunger type then we have two types here that we should see in the hot chamber hot is nothing but we have furnace inside the name itself says it is gosnack air injection type what is this gosnack indicates it indicates the passing through of the pressure the passing through of the pressure it indicates it operated through the air it operated through the air here the scraps are there it is heated through the coals the fuel see that this is the coals and fuels and it is heated it is also here mentioned as fire box it is mentioned as fire box and it is a metal pot where we have this is the metal pot therefore after heating for the pressurizing we are using the air inlet the pressure is operated through the air it pressures and it goes like a nick when this pressure what happens it can able to inject very well into the die gaps it can able to move to the each and every nook and corners micro holes also possible to fill there but what is the problem occurs here the problem occurs here we are using the air due to the air the air interact with the scrap materials available here it means molten metal so the oxidation happens in the molten metal that is to be neglected so we are supposed to use the air it is also one of the method but we are changing this even though the less oxidation is there that oxidation also we have to change or we have to eliminate that is what we are doing there in the next one so that is a second type called as a plunger type plunger type what what is the difference between this gosnack and this plunger type instead of using the air pressure instead of that we are using the plunger pressurizing plunger we are using pressurizing plunger we are using okay. so what happens this air interaction we are avoiding so you see one by one the components first see the die cavity here where is the die cavity you can able to see easily this gap you see this gap belongs to the die cavity as you should we know one is movable one is fixed okay so here the cover dies everything is there so here it, here also we have the gosnack gosnack is everywhere that is called air gosnack here we are using a plunger type gosnack operations hot pressure die casting process the furnace itself in build integrated furnace itself integrated where is this integrated furnace you see the furnace is here the furnace is there it having a brick and it is heated this red colors belong to the furnace molten metal heating okay, you see this one the molten metal available there this one this yellow one this part and then when it is pressurized through the plunger rod it comes it is operated through the hydraulic cylinders we are pressurizing no there is no interaction with the air so we are avoiding the oxygen levels and comes down and lifts and goes inside very easy method between gosnack and the plunger pan. very easy so it is nothing but integrated furnace is there there is no short of time if it is heated 1700 in immediate it have it with respect to fluidity it goes in otherwise from the furnace it should come Travel from one bay to other bay. In the meanwhile, 1700 degrees centigrade will reduce to 1600. The fluidity will reduce. If the fluidity is there, it, it, it flows to the all corners of the 
open drag box. The casting will happen beautifully. Otherwise, it, it won't flow. Flow needed to reach all corners. That here it is easy. Due to that, there is no time gap between molten metal taking out and pouring. Here itself melting, here itself pouring. So it's easy. Quickly happens. So this is what I am showing you the a simple animated picture. You look around in this region. So the plunger will come down and pressurize through the ghost and, and fills the cavity and it dries and comes down. You see there. So it is like the new question. Now we are pressurizing. The ramp comes down and then now it is filled here, the yellow color, and then it dries, the, it becomes the black color, and then it is removed outside. Right? And I am playing you again. One by one, you see clearly. It fills, dries, ejects, and comes down. For our understanding, I want to play a small video clip here. So here, the inbuilt furnace is there, and then the plunger is pressurizing, and through the ghost neck, it comes in. This is one is fixed uh, die and one is movable die in between the product design is there so see it comes there and then it fills so if you want to spray every time this is the ghost net identified the plunger the motor metal comes in and then it goes here for the filling so this is all everything die cavities ejector pins fixed off removable half for us everything Okay, so his pressure is coming. The color you can able to identify blue color. See, pressurizing, furnace or heating, water metal melts and comes down. A very quick, easy spot. In such a way, we can able to multiple the same metal die. You can use multiple times. More times you can use. That it is better, more better than that of sand casting process. These are some of the setups. A machine, a large machine of a hot summer die casting process some view for visibility for you see here see here how far the van see this is one of the large small it is very compact the fellow is operating this big big machine setup this is one of the largest machine of hot chamber pressure die casting process see the setup machine how far it is obviously the people are very small and the machine setup is very large so there are some of the photos who are making here through this the dice and the cavities this cavity is said to be filled few images for for our understanding so what are the materials we can do here the zinc alloys tin alloys the zinc alloys tin alloys all all materials are possible lead alloys magnesium alloys whatever there, there is some other type of alloys also can be able to do important applications of pressure die casting the carburetors everywhere you know this hydraulic brake cylinders connection rods oil pump bodies everywhere in the automobile industries mostly we are using these cases aircraft components sports goods houses and holds plumbing goods everything are possible in the, this every every sector we are touching automobile sectors plumbing sectors engine sectors boilers everywhere we are using those cylinders see brake cylinders everywhere we are touching all departments so it is a very very important some of the parts i want to show you produced by the hot summer carburetor bodies are produced by this pressure die casting process so some of the very thin parts also possible very thin part also possible in this pressure why what is this? the gap how much we are giving it fills if it is gap is large what are we going to fill Gap is small, water metal is going to fill. Die we are metal die we are using, we can remove, fix, remove, fix, we can use. Very easy, simple. And also the hot chamber is at the bottom only. So the various parts of uh, die casting process are possible. So various uh, components we are producing. The different uh, complicated designs, simple designs, thin designs, thick designs, all. So some see break drums. Some of the brake drum parts, where well, this all parts are done through a uh, pressure die casting process. So, few uh, so some examples I want to show you. That is why I keep on keeping more images here. So, some of the various uh, complicated interactive designed parts, interactive designed high thin sections components are are possible. Various uh, 
these are made up of the zinc dye cast pots. Okay, various pots we are doing. Some of the bed zincs. The advantages of hot chamber die casting. The name says hot. It is hot. Okay, we see. The closer dimensional tolerance. The closer dimensional tolerance. How much you can go up to 0.002 mm is possible. In the sand casting process, we have seen about the, the allowances we have seen. Those allowances possibly we are giving there. Here also allowances we are giving, but there is no expansion of sand due to the hammering process on the cope and drag boxes after filling the sand. What we do? The box is there, we are filling the sand, keeping the uh, dice, keeping the pattern materials and we hit. Due to hitting the sand particles, there is a chance to enlarge. Those things may not be or can be avoided here because the dye is fixed. We are going water metal. There is no rises, this and that. The, the complicated job is not here. So, closer dimension stones of 0.002 mm is possible here. So, excellent surface finish on casting up to 1 to 2.5 micrometers are possible. Very thin sheets. See, surface finish, I am marking here. Close dimensional tolerance, thin sections, this all highlighted words are important. Okay? Then, components of different sizes. Different sizes, 30 kg to 7 kg, 30 grams to 7 kg, a thin section of 0.75 mm, less than 1 mm is possible here. 0.75. Okay? Useful for mass production, useful for mass production. How, what is this name of mass production? Die is there, we pour, close, open. And die is ready. Closing, open. So it is very, such a simple, very thing. We can able to uh, do mass productions. Very thin objects, mass production, different sizes, closer dimensions, sur good surface finish. These are things we need for the cast product. Okay. It continues. Cycle of operations requires a very less time. The time is very less. Quickly can do. For single object in sand casting, we need one hour of time. Here we need very less time, five minutes. We have to fill and the solidification time we should give. That's it. We can take out. There, sand preparation itself uh, a huge time it will take. Shrinkage and gas porosities can be avoided. Shrinkage and gas porosities can be avoided. How? By making the pressure, by making the pressure, where is the shrinkage? Everywhere it is completely filled, filled. In the gravity we are just pouring. It should go and it should fill. If it is not going, if it is solidifying earlier, what we can do? We should push, then it goes there. If you are not pushing, we are, the, the water metal will not go. Due to the gravitational force, only it will go. At the time, there is a chance of shrinkage. There is a chance of gas porosities. But here we are pushing. Inside, we are pushing through the pressure die casting. Then what happens? The molten metal bent inside. Therefore, it is possible there. See, next. A semi-skilled worker is can be do the job. What is a semi-skilled worker? Non-employed, the diplomatic, less than diploma job people can do. Technicians can operate the machine. Automatically, we are going to pour and switch on the machine. The tie comes, pressures and opens. We have to take out the product. That's it. The technician job over. So, the semi-skilled workers you can do. There is no engineering job is there. A simple operation switch on, switch up. Switch on, comes in. Switch open, goes out and we take the product. Simple. There is the semi skilled workers can able to do this job. Less defect compared to the other sand casting process. Less defect compared to the sand casting process. Where in sand casting shrinkage may happen. In sand casting gas porosity may happen. In sand casting tolerance may not be maintained. In sand casting more time may be taken place. These are the various uh, disadvantages are in cast, sand casting process. Some others are the casting surfaces are free from sand. Same thing the texture we talked about already. So these things are possible. So what are the limitations here? So cost of the equipment is very high. Cost of the equipment, yes, we are moving from sand to the metal. Cost of the equipment is very high. Cost of the dye is high. Dye is high. Everything. They are talking about high. Not suitable for heavy castings. What is heavy castings? 
the engine parts we have made, the large boiler parts we have, we have to make, then that is not possible. We have, to, we have to go for large setup of machines there. So simple thin automobile parts we can do here. Right? So the large plate you have to do, the large machine setups you have to do, that is not possible. So large heavy castings are not possible. Suitable only for non-ferrous casting process like aluminium, copper, zinc, magnesium, bismuth, so those such are there, okay? Not suitable for small scale production. Not, because we are already investing here high, then why you need to use for small scale industry for preparation of one, one object, for preparation of two objects, you can go for sand process, sand casting process. In case of this thousand products, mass production, then we go for the die casting process. Not suitable for small scale. Small scale is one or two. Then slowly we can do and we can do the research there. But here it is a mass production. So such examples, oxidation. See, oxidation metal are in the air injection machine. This we have changed. This we have changed from air to plunger type. But in the air injection pressure, there is a chance of oxidation are possible. Chance of oxidation is possible. So that we should remember. So the summary of the session. So the summary of the session. We have we have all the discussions of type of casting process. Then we have now discussed about the die casting. Die casting process. In this, we have discussed about the, the gravity die casting. And then also we have discussed about the pressure die casting. Casting processes. So the remaining part of this subject we will see you in the next section. Thank you.